In this video, I'm going to explain what to do if your client accidentally locks themselves out of their gallery. If your client has accidentally locked themselves out of their gallery by entering the incorrect password five times, we strongly recommend having them wait for about an hour and then try back with the correct password. However, if it's extremely urgent and time sensitive to get your client access to their gallery, there is a workaround that will grant them access. First, create a new group in your All Photographs group, and then click on Group Access and set this group to private. Then click on the Search and Metadata tab, and then choose the Do Not Include Photos and Videos in Any Search Results options. It also may be a good idea to make sure that these options are unchecked. Once you're finished, click Save. Now let's move the gallery that the client has locked themselves out of into that new group that we created. And then let's change that gallery's access to be public. You're also going to want to set up the options on the Search and Metadata tab, just like we did for that group that we created. Now that we've made this gallery public, your client will be able to access it. The private group that it's in makes it so that it's only accessible via a direct link and also prevents search engines from indexing it. If you need to resend the link to your client, you can click the Gallery Invite button to send them that link. Moving forward, here are some things you may want to keep in mind when you're creating your passwords, and it also might be a good idea to communicate these to your client as well. They need to keep in mind that passwords are case sensitive. Also, it might be easier if you suggest to your client to copy and paste the password rather than actually trying to type it out. They need to also be careful if their browser is attempting to autofill an incorrect password. And they need to also watch for blank space before or after the password that's created by accidentally hitting the space bar. And finally, if you're going to use the number zero in place of the letter O, or vice versa, it might be a good idea to clarify this to your client. Something to keep in mind when you're creating your client's password is that you do have the option of also creating a password hint. And the last suggestion that I have is to talk to your clients about their galleries. As photographers, it's easy for us to fall into the habit of assuming that every client wants their gallery password protected. And sometimes this isn't the case. Public galleries are going to be much easier for your clients to access, and if they're keyworded correctly, they're going to be very beneficial to your SEO. This is Robert with Zenfolio Customer Support. Thank you for watching.